Good morning, everyone. I'd like to share with you the reading of our Sunday morning devotionals from May 23rd. We're going to start off with Sarah Young's book, Jesus Calling. Okay. Approach each new day with desire to find me. Before you get out of bed, I have already been working to prepare the path that will get you through this day. There are hidden treasures strategically placed along the way. Some of the treasures are trials designed to shake you free from earth shackles. Others are blessings that reveal my presence. Sunshine, flowers, birds, friendships, and answered prayer. I have not abandoned this sin-wracked world. I am still richly present in it. Search for deep treasure as you go through this day. You will find me all along the way. That was taken from the book of Colossians and Isaiah. The next reading is from David Jeremiah's book, Strength for Today. And this lesson is entitled, Never Quit. The scripture is from the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 13. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. In 2019, Don Zella Washington walked across the stage to receive her bachelor's degree in social work at Alabama A&M University. She graduated magna cum laude. At 80 years old, she became A&M's oldest graduate. Even though there were a lot of tears and late night studying at one or two o'clock in the morning, I was determined. I never felt like quitting, she said. Now Donzella plans to work on her master's degree and volunteer at nursing homes. We should guard against the desire to quit. Sometimes we grow weary in the work, but we should never become weary of the work the Lord gives us to do. Galatians 6, 9 says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Hebrews 12.3 warns against becoming weary and discouraged in our souls. God has done so much for us, we should never become weary in doing good for Him. Make up your mind to stay enthused, determined, and active in whatever task God gives you today. Never grow weary in doing good. It's always too soon to quit. And from the book of Jesus Always, written by Sarah Young, there are three scriptures that accompany the reading. The first is from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And from the book of Psalm, chapter 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. And from the book of Psalm, chapter 105, verse 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually.
When the way just ahead of you seems too difficult, turn to me and say, I can't, but we, you and I together, can. Acknowledging your inability to handle things on your own is a healthy dose of reality. However, this is only one part of the equation because a sense of inadequacy by itself can be immobilizing. The most important part of the equation is recognizing my abiding presence with you and my desire to help you. Pour out your heart to me. Ask me to carry your burdens and show you the way forward. Don't waste energy worrying about things that are beyond your control. Instead, use that energy to connect with me. Seek my face continually. Be ready to follow wherever I lead, trusting me to open up the way before you as you go. Dare to see your inadequacy as a door to my presence. View your journey as an adventure that you share with me. Remain in close communication with me, enjoying my company as we journey together. This has been wonderful. Thanks very much for joining us on this Sunday morning, May 23rd, 2021. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. May God bless you all.